everyone has heard of smash or pass, but I want to do a different take on the formula. Smash, hug, pet, or pass. Smash is smash. The hug option is more of a emotional outlet rather than a romantic outlet. Pet is, well, I mean. And pass because it's the lesser of an option compared to Nevertheless, these are the categories that I have imposed upon this video. As of recording this video, we have currently 100 Nikkeis to go over. A lot of the Nikkeis I'll be covering will be rapid fire in nature, and others I will take my time with just trying to explain my reasoning for putting some of these Nikkeis into said category. There's a lot to go over, so let's not waste too much time. And as such, if you like videos like these, consider liking, subscribing, and uh, joining my membership today. If we somehow manage to get 50 likes on this video, I'll consider making more. For now, sit back, relax, and enjoy. So the best thing to do, regard just to get all of these characters in, we are going to order them from Rare, the SR, to SSR. That's the order of which that we will go. We're just gonna have to start from the bottom and work our way to the top. Mm, pass. I, I think this is gonna be a pass right off the bat. It's not that I'm a fan of this character design. In fact, I'd probably say this is a decent design. I do think this is a decent design, but I guess without eyes, I can't really find anything else to latch on to. So yeah, this is gonna be a pass for me, bro. It's same reason, pass. I do remember her when I was first making the tier list, and I do remember placing her pretty high when it comes to our characters, when it comes to rare characters. Definitely most smashable rare character. I will I will admit that. So um yeah, smash. <laughs> The flashbacks are real. I'm not gonna spoil anything here, but if you, but if you've been following the story for for the year, hug. This is just hug. If you know the story, you know you know what you know why I chose it. She deserves a hug. Product twelve. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. 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 I know this one. Eh, pet. Pet. I don't. I don't really feel as bad compared to the last one, but still pretty sad though. But but that said. Pet. I think pet is fair enough. Pass. This is just a pass. Mm, Soldier OW. Pass. I think it's just a pass. Soldier FA. Eh, pet. Yeah. I do like I do like her character design. Yeah. So yeah, I think pet. Pass. I think it's a pass. I forgot about this character. <laughs> I forgot. Eh, pet. Yeah, I know I said. I know what I said. Let's just say I've seen the anime, and, uh... That's gonna be a pass for me, dog. Nah, nah, I, I think, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. All right, um, Nev. Pet. Yeah, I think pet. Only because she looks so fluffy. That's, that, that's, that's my conclusion. It's not someone that I would smash, but it's someone that I would certainly pet. When she's in hibernation, pet. When she's when she's awake, you know what? Also, pet. Honestly, just pet all around. Yeah, I, I think so. She's a very head pattable person. That's that's as much as I could say. Pass. Just pass. I, I I'm not exactly that big of a fan. Man, you know the vibes. You know the vibes. Hug. No, yeah, I'm yeah, I'm serious. I don't necessarily see her as someone I would particularly smash, but if you know the story, if you know, as you get to know a niece, you would see her as someone who needs a hug. Trust me, trust me when I say hug. At least this version of a niece. This version of a niece, hug. Pass. Uh, hard pass. I do not. Uh, <laughs> no, thank you. I, I think, if I remember correctly, I don't necessarily see her as a. If I remember correctly, I don't think I am that big of a fan of her to begin with. This was even before I learned about her story. But now that I know her story, hard pass. I, I've seen her Bond story. I'm not. I'm not a big fan. 
and 102. Pet. Yeah, pet. Again, voiced by Karina. But in this particular case... Oh, oh wait a minute. Mm, actually, I don't know. Pet or hug? I guess the conclusion I could think of... Uh, of my conclusion for pet would be because of her ears. But that nothing else beyond that. Smash. Smash. Hmm. Pet. Yeah, I think pet. Smash. Uh, no, 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 no. I was going to say that because I was thinking of a... Of a Bonds episode that I... That I checked out of hers. But the more I think about it, the more I'm like... Eh, are you sure? A pass. I'm sure she... I'm sure she could give it, but pass. Okay, it's not that I hate Neon. It's just that her design-wise, it just looks a little weird to me. Mm. Pet. I haven't gone too far into the story, but I have seen a screen or two involving Rappy. And the only thing I will say is... A hug. Definitely hug. I wasn't even that into A2 to begin with. But then again, I haven't gotten far into Near Automata to make that conclusion. So I think for now, it's going to be a temporary pass. I need to know... I definitely need to know more about her later on. But for now, it's just going to have to be pass for now. Man, you already know the vibes. You know the vibes. Uh, smash. Why did they have to use an unflattering art? They didn't even have to show her mouth and teeth like that. Now, here's the thing. She's kind of cool in the anime, but this one, she kind of looks stupid. Pass. A respectable pass. Because, honestly, I do not want to piss her off. Mm. Strong head pads. As of recording this video, I just I just finished up with the event story. And, yeah, this is a hard, hard pet. A very strong pet. Strong head pads all around. Well. Well, it is smash-worthy, but I get the feeling she'll just... It, like, it, I mean, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. It's not... On the one hand, I would hug or smash, but at the same time, I'm thinking that she'd probably be the one doing the hugging, if anything. I mean, she seems like a good hugger. So, you know what? Mutual hugs all around. Mmm. Hug. I think hug. If you know the overzone event, strong hug. Absolute strong hug. I like Raiden Black, but I don't know if I like her personality that much. Th though then again, I haven't reached it to that part of the story just yet. The main story, particularly. So, um, I don't really know too much about her. But with that said, strong pass. Hug. Just hug all hugs all around. Hug Modernia. Especially if you know the story. If there's ever an option of kick like a football, I would. But there isn't, so, uh, pass. Mm. Pass. This is just a pass. If there's an option for, uh, drinking buddy, then sure, why not? But, um, for now, hug. If I had to sin to see you again, then I'm gonna lie, lie, lie. Smash! Absolute smash! Pass, 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 pass! She's the crazy one! She is the crazy one, so uh, no thank you. Hug. Definitely hug. Well, actually, wait. Mm. Nah, definitely hug. Definitely hug. Now, this version of Anise on the other hand. Definite smash. Absolute smash. Megaton smash. Pet. I think pet. 
Yeah, definitely pet. Funny enough, smashing would it would be the most canon thing to do. I know what I said. So, I mean, if smashing it is a canon event, then I gotta go by the canon, guys. Yeah, definite smash. Now, she would be a damn good drinking buddy. But, unfortunately, it's like a respectable pass. A very respectable pass. Suplex smash. Suplex smash. Absolutely a suplex smash. She's just, she's just great all around. I feel that in the year that I have played this game, I have never forgotten about her. Never have. This version and the normal version that we'll get to later on. So this is a definite suplex smash. You know, doing this will age the tier list badly because I do remember her, I do remember placing her pretty high. But the more I learned about her personality, the more I learned about her through the Bond episodes, I guess there are worse characters out there, but she's definitely on the lower end. Pass. This is a pass. Hug. I think I think a hug would do just fine. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Honestly, same with her. Yeah, I, I think a hug would do just fine. Only because of her design. Like, this looks great. Like, it's definitely a unique design given the context of the game. This is why I, I created the pet category. Because I because of this. With that said, hard pass. It's not that I hate children characters. I just don't care about her. Pet. Yeah, the, 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 this, is a, this is just a pet. The, nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> now, canonically... DKs are very heavy. They are strong. They are very durable. And there is a very good chance that I, that my that every bone in my body will break. But if it means I get to uh, I get to do the ultimate smash, then I will. I will make I will take that risk and I will die happy about it. Deadly smash. Hey, you know what? This falls under the pet category. I do like the character design. And she does remind me of a character from Nanan Biori. Okay, given the context of the story. Again, 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 I haven't I haven't gotten any further into the main story, but I have heard things. And as such, mm, cautious hug. A very cautious hug. Respectable hug. A respectable hug. I don't think it's low enough for me to give it a pet, let alone a pass. But I think this is this. I think she's high enough to at least deserve to at least be deserving of a hug. Pass, pass. I don't think I want to be anywhere near her, let alone to be in any bodily contact if she's sweating all that much. So, uh, yeah, pass, pass. Not that, not that big of a fan. <laughs> eh, you know what? This is a, this is a pet worthy. This is definitely pet worthy. Respectable pass, because I get the feeling she might be the kind of person that would two time me in the back alley of a uh, chase bank. You know what? Same with her. Honestly, same with her. Um, but honestly, both of them would probably would probably swindle me uh, out of like out of full retail price. <laughs> They'll probably double it if they want to. So, uh, respectable, a very respectable pass. Well, I mean, you know the answers to this one. Okay, but in all seriousness, though, um, okay, this is how I see things. Um, if the, here, let me show you, what, here, let me, let me go and show you what I mean by it. If this outfit of hers is ultra smash worthy, then this one would be, Huggable. I think huggable. But what I've learned in her Bond stories and in her event stories, she is a very lovable character. She has so much energy. Now granted, the energy to spend all of her money the moment she gets, uh, the moment she even gets a profit, but is that is that kind of a is that kind of energy that you can't help but love? So on that note, strong hug. I think a strong hug would suffice. 
Hug. I think hug. Not necessarily smash, but definitely hug. But it would be very tempting, though. It would absolutely be very tempting. But hug. <laughs> 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 Smash. I can't go I can't I can't go against the cannon. It's it's a smash. <laughs> Sparring, buddy? I don't know. Eh, you know what? Pet. I think I think pet would suffice. Yeah, I think pet. Pretend to be injured and get free hugs. There we go. That that that's that's my conclusion. But in all seriousness, um Hug. Yeah. Here's the thing. The her summer outfit is smash worthy and canonically smash worthy. This one's more this one's more hug. Very much. Very a very strong hug. I get the feeling that if I do pet her, it's it's going to disturb her sleep and she will kill me. But it's a risk I'll be taking, so pet. Unless she unless she decides to hug me as a body pillow. Suplex smash. This is a definite suplex smash. I'm not that big of a fan of the character design, but it's not a pass. Um, this is a pet. This is a this is a pet moment. Aggressive petting. Very aggressive petting. She's certainly one of those characters that is in their own world. Very likely trying to get around some level of trauma. That's my that's my basic assumption. But I just can't help but feel that it is adorable to even see some to see someone like this. So aggressive petting, aggressive. Not smash, not smash, but not a pass either. Pet from behind when she's playing her off-brand switch. That's the best way to do it. Yeah. The pet category. Hug from behind while she's riding a motorcycle. Yeah, so hug worthy while she's riding that motorcycle. I think so. It makes the most sense. Cause come on, I don't want to fall off. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I have not completed the event that she comes from. But with that said, I'm not that fond of her that much um now she does have uh, uh, two things that i am very that i look forward to when it comes to character when it comes to uh, characters but here's the thing considering the uh, considering the shit that she went through it's a pity pet it's a pity pet that's that's what that's what i'm uh, calling it a pity pet a uh, naga on the other hand um okay so for legal reasons i am only allowed to say Hug. I'm al I'm I'm allowed I'm only allowed to say hug. Don't suggest anything here. No 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 don't don't you dare don't you dare type that in, uh, don't you dare type that in the comments. It's just a hug. No more, no less. I know they don't have an age technically speaking, but come on. Come on. This is the pet though. This is the, this is certainly pet worthy. Hug. As considering the uh, considering the story of this particular event, it's a hug because she needs it more than it, more than ever. Smash. Pass. This is a pass. Okay. Pet, but on one condition. The mask that got to go. The mask got to go. The intrusive thoughts say smash, but the reasonable person in me says pass. Considering how strong she is, pass. I'm not risking it. If I was within a 10 foot radius, I'd probably say pet her with a, I'd probably say pet. Yeah, within a 10 foot radius, pet. A heroic hug. Yeah, I think a heroic hug is well deserving of uh, Laplace, the uh, greatest uh, superhero to ever exist. Although I hope I don't hug her when she's uh, go when she's crashing through a window. Initially, I was not a fan of her, but there was a, a story. But there was a. But I did check out her Bond episodes later on, and I thought 
Uh, yeah, you know what? This is pet worthy. At least pet worthy. I still don't care too much about her, but I can at least respect it now. So, pet worthy. Mmm, aggressive petting. Very aggressive petting. She looks adorable. So now, sounds adorable on the other hand? That's a different story. Pet. This is just pet. Editor, you know what to do. If I could, I would. So, massive pass. Do not. Just do not crow. She looks cool. Design-wise, she looks very cool. But trust me what I say, do not. Stay away from her. The most villainous hug I could think of. A, a hug that is very deserving of a, a of the greatest supervillain of all time. She's just great. She she's just fantastic all around. Like in uh, initially I thought she was just only good. But after witnessing her in the event stories and in her own Bond episodes, the most villainous hug I could offer to Drake. Pass a very neutral pass. I I, I don't I don't, it's not that I don't hate her or I feel reluctant towards her or anything like that. It's just she's fine, I guess. Yeah, I, th I just think she's fine. If there's a dance option, there probably w I probably would, but there isn't. Pass, but a very respectable pass. Pet. Yeah, I, I think pet. Pet would be pet would be the most suitable for litter. Okay, I would smash Mihara, but Yuni on the other hand. Um. Okay. Uh. Pet. I think pet would be the most suitable. Pass, pass, pass. Run and run. Just pass. I do not. I do not wish to be associated with Maxwell at all. I do not. This is a hug for me. Yeah, I, I think this is a hug. She has that quirk of uh, not seeing shit uh, here and there. In fact, uh, on over on my Discord, I made a meme. Uh, you're, you're more than welcome to use that. Have fun with it. Smash. Smash. Mm. Smash? If you keep splashing water around like that, there's no point in me wearing anything. Ultra Suplex Smash. Hug. But not that kind of hugging, though. Hug in the sense that you're just uh, hanging around with your uh, with your crewmates. H hanging around with your... Uh, with your other pirate mates. That kind of hug it. <sighs> okay, look. Um, you went from pet to at minimum hug. Definitely huggable now. Smash. Definite smash. I think this is very smash worthy. I don't like the fact the bag is moving. Pass. Hug? But the mask stays on. Pet. This is pet worthy. Guillotine is pet worthy. Pass. Pet? Hug. Def definitely a hug worthy. Certainly a hug worthy person. Mm. Pet. I, I. Yeah, this is definitely a pet moment. This is a certified pet worthy moment. Can I cheat here? Can I cheat here? I, I This is my video after all. Um hug and smash. No reason. No reason. But if I had to choose smash. I was not I was not that fond of her design initially. I'm still not, but she deserves a pet. Aggressive petting, and even she agrees. As soon as I touch your hand, I get all drowsy. Pretty weird, don't you think? Yeah. Can't go against canon. It's petting. Pet worthy. Yeah, I think this is pet worthy. After seeing her Bond episodes, I think she I think uh, Signal is very pet worthy. Smash. Smash. We got through 100 of these characters. Oh, I 
I believe 100 give or take. I actually don't remember the... I don't know what the full amount is right now, but it should be around the 100 mark. Considering the rankings that I have given for these characters, um, it's not necessary. It's more or less how I feel about these characters over time from the time that I have been introduced to them a year ago, over a year ago, to today. It speaks volumes as to how much I really care about these characters. Even like the characters that I would give a massive hard pass towards, it's... It's, just, it's basically a sign of respect. A sign of respect is saying that I actually did care about these characters in some fashion. When I gave a pass to Crow, it doesn't necessarily mean that I don't care about her. In fact, I'd say that it speaks volumes as to how well as to how well written she is. Given that there's a hundred characters in this roster, it's amazing to me that they were able it's amazing to me that these developers were able to give them a unique personality. Of course, mine, of course, even, hell, even some of the R characters that they gave personalities to, like Product 12 and Product 23, especially Product 23. So, to the developers at Nikkei, I salute you. I give you a toast, and I hope to see another year of greatness. This has been Opus Gaming. If you like videos like these, leave a like, leave a comment, and consider subscribing for more videos like these. Until then, take care.